um, and a question for both of you really. Um, what would be more interesting that the LHC confirms some of these uh, sort of unknowns of the, of the standard model, it finds dark matter in the Higgs boson, or that the LHC doesn't find any of these things? What, what is actually a more interesting result? Well, it, 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 it depends on uh, which theorist you, you, uh, you ask. If, if the Higgs particle, for instance, is, is not there, I think that that opens up more questions than it, than it, than it answers. Okay, thank you. Um, Valerie? Hi, it's Valerie Jimison from New Scientist magazine in the UK. Um, first of all, congratulations, Lynn. Uh, wonderful achievement. I'd like to ask about the spots that we were looking at uh, on the TV screen earlier on that signified that protons were going through. Um, what was actually happening there? Were protons going through a camera or was it something else? Uh, that was just, uh, they are fluorescent screens that we can move into the beam, uh, as you may see, have seen them moving. Uh, they're very thin screens, so they, they, the, the beam hits them, but goes straight through them. I, I think that uh, there's very little beam lost, but this, the, they're just fluorescent screens, so you see the beam spot. Uh, of course, it's a camera focused on the screen. Thank you. And Mark Henderson. Hi, uh, Mark Henderson from The Times. Um, could I ask you uh, both, really, to... Um, a lot of people, uh, or some people, see the, 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 the LHC as an indulgence, as a luxury. It's, it's not there to solve technological or practical problems. It's there to advance basic understanding. And could, could you just speak for a moment about the value of that and why it's worth spending uh, billions of pounds, billions of euros on something um, that's going to find things out rather than produce things? <laughs> okay, well, I, 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 I don't agree with the last comment anyway. Uh, the LHC is, a, is, a, is a, first of all, it's a massive exercise in international collaboration on, on a grand scale, I think, that uh, the, apart from the CERN member states, the number of, of people working on the experiments uh, is enormous and, and, and all races and religions. I think it's a tremendous unifier. Now, uh, as far as, of course, uh, we are, do fundamental physics, fundamental science, and um, we shouldn't do anything other. But in, in doing that, we are pushing technology on all fronts to, the, to its very limits. And, and we know from the past that things, useful things will come out of that. I don't know what will come out of the LHC, but the, the, the great example of the past, of course, is the World Wide Web which uh, I don't agree uh, with some comments recently that they, it, the web would have been invented by a brilliant Berners-Lee on his own. I think this was a consequence of the need to communicate worldwide the complex information amongst our partners around the whole world. So maybe the DG would like to add. If I may add, I think looking for product is not enough. Man already in the past have shown that they have the request for where they came from and where they should go. What is the universe behind the past and where the universe will come in the future? And I think 